Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where hello let's say hi to my truest love how do we do this there we go there she is she's never let me down even when she broke apart the tiny pieces I guess that was kind of letting me down but she didn't mean to Let's get out of here. Anyway, we are going to finish up what we were doing. Shepard, the council withdrew the release order for Yay. Sedaris. Yay! The of all people got him to do it. Crazy. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Anytime, Bailey. My guy, my dude. Codex. I was like, what? So that was... Yes, that was the eclipse. Uh, and now we just get to help Araka, or at least chat with Araka. It's funny how I rem remember, like, Welcome the placement of certain things. One moment, certain people, certain individuals. I feel like now, my first runs through come. games are always, like, embedded onto my mind. After all, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking no, up oh, with him, No, right? oh, listen. It's the oh, she is. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. Yeah. You said he'd been distant, and that the war made everything clearer. That things weren't working. Yes, but meeting you was what made me realize how bad it had gotten. I just... I'm not the one who broke up your relationship. Oh, you are. Really? Was it someone else who pinned me to the wall with her mouth? Yeah, the, that woman, I think, really just doesn't want to feel bad for, like... Uh, she wants to she wants to put all the blame onto the human woman, not the Asari. Like, the Asari woman doesn't want to have anything to do with that. Potential tragedy. Fighting for you. I'll send the Alliance a car. As for the Turians, well, I pay my taxes. That's disgusting. No, disgusting would be the tax rates for doing business on Thessia. Do you pay your taxes? If I wanted to get screwed by the Asari, I would have returned to Benezia's call. <laughs> That's not everything she does. Yeah, so I'm thinking about volunteering for a double shift. Are you insane? We're hardly getting enough sleep as it is. Well, if I'm not going to sleep, I might as well at least make myself... No, you voice. should rest. Damn, I'm tired if that argument makes sense. Maybe I should volunteer too. You won't be the only one. You talked to the others, didn't you? Why am I not surprised? Yeah, but I saved the best for last. Aww. Anyway, medical professionals should not be putting themselves under that much stress, and they should sleep, otherwise they have faulty care. But, you know, in an emergency situation, I can see how you'd be like, well, I might as well do something, you know? Commander Shepard. General Araka. I, re I think we that's what I thought. Den. You were pretty miserable if I That's recall. what I thought. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability yeah. to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Ma this is kind of me trying to save his life, because Arya will kill him to get her away. Is it time to return to the Normandy? I'm getting propositioned with increasing... Yeah, well, we should get you some clothes. Is it time to return to the Normandy? All right, I'm put that on the list, too. Hang on, what was the other thing I wanted? I want an um, E clothing mod, even though there's not any good ones. And shoot. Oh, 
hopefully I'll remember no, when I true. go through and, and not that I listen to everything. Dang it. Like I don't have like usually I just look for certain breaks in audio. Excuse me? Oh I did <sighs> What was the other mod I wanted? There was something I wanted. Dang it! If anybody, if you guys watch this, and you remember me mentioning something about a mod, I'm not even sure I said anything about wanting to mod it. Oh, it's right there! Oh, that's right, I remember now. I was like, it's something to do with gender, and then like, I was like, oh yes. Uh, variable genders for aliens. At least shake things up a bit. I, I wouldn't probably look for it normally, but I'm pretty sure some I read something somewhere that somebody did make a mod like that that brings more of like female Turians and Solarians, although you can't really tell the difference between the Solarians, oh, which is fine. Or uh, the Turians just have like a different, slightly different head crest. Oh, I mean, the only thing different about the human body mesh is like usually the, the woman has like narrower shoulders and boobies. You know, like if you looked at that from like an outside alien perspective, you're like, I can't really tell the difference between male and female because at least like the male and female like sex, right? Because you're like, they look very similar. Really, if you look at it from an outside perspective, we're all just human beings, little monkeys, little apes, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Did it? No, there wasn't something I wanted for you. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal. Uh huh. See? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So, what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So, I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. Hmm. So what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh. <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. I gotta stick to my guns, <laughs> Alright, now what? Do I have that? Nope. Um, maybe I just gotta like wait on that. Maybe I don't have that yet. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the Centurion War effort. It'll wait for me, I think, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Commander, unless you can find a new source of weapons for CSEC, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. Place a kill order. I'll get you your weapons, General. I appreciate the effort, but I've spent too much time out of action, Commander. Won't be able to sit on my hands much longer. Well, what is it that I need? It's not even telling me what I need. Let me look it up. The quests don't really update. Okay, so I need to travel to the kite's nest and then to the Volar system and then go to Van now. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like it's on a timer, but I'll try to do that quickly. I think last time I had already done it. It's not like it's it's not like it's updating for me to tell me, "Oh, hey, here's where you could go Welcome get some stuff." Please select the destination. One moment. 
Oh, did I run past? I don't think I ran past. Now arriving at docking bay this couple. This is not where. Nope, I'm in the wrong. This is. I went to docking because I was like, hmm, that's where my ship is, but where is my ship? Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select. Normandy dock. I can't read. I'm so sorry. I am getting tired. <laughs> Been I worked out today, now like fully worked out today for the first time in a while. I've been sick for so long and then just got, like I would just do treadmill stuff, but now I'm like, alright, I need to get back into the swing of things, you know? Not just easy going cardio. Shepherd, Holy moly! Please. Holy moly! It has to be. Everyone's going through this. I know, and I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just so damn inconvenient. It's like... We're pre-space flight all of a sudden. Pretty much. You should see what they've got us using for heavy munitions. It's all mass-produced Elkos combine crap. Wait, munitions? Explosive munitions? I thought you weren't going to be on the front lines. Not in hot combat zones, no, of course not. But sometimes, they need us to breach enemy fortifications. Goddess, you said you were just going to be building emergency outposts. Yeah. Anyway, wow, I would not have known to talk to you here, Miranda. Gall, what's wrong with your whole body sh Her butt is just ridiculous. Just, I don't know. It's just, well, her butt isn't ridiculous. Her outfit is ridiculous is what it is. Like, who wears something, like, that actually shows, like, essentially, like, just the shadowy butt crack? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just, uh. Commander Shepard. It's been far too I think long. her boobs got bigger. Her hair got bigger. In interesting times. Her hair got bigger for sure. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. Now I'm back. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court martial Almost. Me. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. I like, I do like. Doesn't matter now. Shepard. About Earth. I do, sorry, I am listening to her, but I do like the shine on the black part. Her whole outfit looks really nice. It really, like the, I like the, like the bee pattern. It's really cool. Like, for, for a top. It's just, just, it's just very obvious that she was designed to be like the sexy looking lady. And when in actuality, she's just a bad A who will do whatever it takes to win. You know what I mean? Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. Should. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I'm sorry, Shepard. Thank you. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. I feel like that's very good reason to panic. You know, she's like, I'm probably just overreacting. It's like, mm. <laughs> What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll It's be true. Fine. I'm not built for espionage. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. Like, it could be like, a, oh, I'm not just built for kicking down doors, but no, I really am. That is exactly what I'm built for, and I'm not really good at uh, other things. <laughs> you will. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. I am. Uh, also, her arms look exceptionally noodly in this one. They did the same thing with Shepard, where they made her arms noodly, but her boobs and her butt are bigger. Like, why? Why? 
Miranda wasn't, I mean, she's a little bit more voluptuous now, which is fine, but, like, she wasn't, she didn't look like that in Mass Effect 2. I just don't know why they changed, that's my whole thing, is I don't know why they changed the body meshes. <laughs> Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me, but he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? <laughs> Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. No, both of us would know. <laughs> oh, we'd be intimately familiar with that. Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has Why left. doesn't he just... I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. I don't know why he doesn't just make a new one again, because, um... Oriana's old enough by now to, like, have her... Like, she hasn't been trained up the way he would want an heir to be trained up. You know what I mean? Like... He raised Miranda from, like, infancy to be a weapon, and Oriana, like, is not going to be that. She's, like, 18 or something, you know? She can't... She, he won't be able to brainwash her the same way. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Oriana. The blue sheen on her arms matches her eyes. <laughs> I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. She should no be promises. disguised, honestly. Oh, I didn't even look. I should have looked to see. I was looking at her armor, like, the whole time. But, like, uh, which I guess just goes to show I'm one of those people looking at her armor. But, um, I didn't see any Cerberus logos on there. Mm, I forgot she was here. Mm -hmm. She will show up later, as many of us know, with the... Oh my gosh, the sanctuary. If it's Samara, I'm gonna cry, because Samara's is scary and it's, I don't like it. Oh, hi. Oh, this is the DLC. Listen, Arya, it's nice. So, in the regular base game, you could do this whole thing where you um, do the blue suns, all that. You could do that in the base game. But then it's kind of like the Shadow Broker where you can help Arya in Mass Effect 2. Or you can help, sorry, you can help Liara in Mass Effect 2. Um, to, like, the those, like, terminal things you can do. But then if you don't have the DLC, it doesn't lead into anything. She's just like, I'll deal with it on my own. You know, be nice if you could help, but like I got this, and if you, and then you get the DLC, and then you can participate. Um, but yeah, same thing with Arya, which I don't think I have ever. No, I haven't. No, have I? No, I have. I have done the DLC, but it's so vague. It was probably like my second time playing. The first time I played, I don't think I did it. I don't think I had any DLCs the first time I played. But. I don't remember. Maybe I've just seen. Maybe I've seen YouTube videos. I don't know. I told you guys I'm good at remembering like my first times through, but after that it becomes very fuzzy and hazy, and I don't know anything. Commander, I've set up a secure communications with the Turian and Salarian governments and added their combat data to our boards. Hopefully, it'll give us some idea of what's going on. Excellent. Anyway, um, I need to pick up a treasure. IGN, stop. I'm on their their guide for Kite's Nest, Volar System. Oh, and I heard on the radio in the game, the Volus home world fell. Not surprising. They rely on the Turians, and the Turians are kind of busy. Krogan, Anos, Horse Aid, Exodus, Petra. Kite's Nest. Oh, fine artifacts. Why didn't I see that in the journal? Why didn't I see that update in the journal? Maybe I'm just blind. It's usually operator error 75% of the time. Uh, was it? It wasn't. This is the Harsa, and I need to go... Volsar? Where is that? There it is. Volar. 
Man, these have always been beautiful little nebulas, but it's just so cool to see. Signal confirmed. Oh, perfect. Reaper alert. Oh boy, if I do that again, uh, we are gonna get we're gonna get super caught. Debris from a great battle can be seen from here. Batarian naval ships, merchant ships, and a few Reaper destroyers have been pounded into wreckage. It appears that the Batarian Navy tried to defend the Helium-3 refueling station, giving civilian ships time to escape the system. I don't know if the Batarian military cares about the safety of its citizens necessarily. It's probably just trying to protect the infrastructure. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Reapers exterminated the colony here, punching holes in the dome cities and leaving its occupants to asphyxiate. I don't think I would, like, as cool as it would be to live on an exoplanet or live on, a, like, another planet, you know? Uh, I don't think you could ever convince me for any amount of anything to go live on a planet where I have to live in an air bubble and hope it stays intact, you know? I just don't think I would do that. I like terra firma well enough. My terraforma. <laughs> wow, it just takes one trip for us to go through like the vast majority of our fuel. Holy cow. I am. I found something. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure these main systems don't have anything when they have mass, re mass effect relays, but that's a lie. But I definitely remember running from Reapers and Mass Effect relay systems to get to the Mass Effect. Oh shoot, this is the Batarian Homeworld. Wrapped less in mystery than outright lies, Batarian propaganda claims the world has 15 billion in inhabitants and an economy that rivals the Asari. Although the, the legal slave trade does boost the Batarian's profit somewhat, Citadel sanctions have left a paper tiger of an empire, one that fights rivals through deniable terrorist actions rather than the wars of its heyday centuries ago. Reapers will likely be the death blow to that empire. Almost no information has escaped Karshan since the Reapers destroyed the Combois, but Batarian refugees say that resistance has created a bond among the commoners, and if a new government can rise from the ashes, that bond may sustain a new Batarian society. One would hope. But living under regimes sometimes just makes you think it's the only way forward, you know? Not always, but sometimes. You want the pillars of... Oh, I already got that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was like, you want the pillars of strength? I'm not gonna give that to you. That's what the Batarians want. But I have it now. But I got the, the artifacts or whatever it was for elsewhere. Uranium was rare. Accurate on the planet was lost after a power struggle in the Batarian government. Yeah. Well. Yeah, there's a pension for mating that 0.6% of modern Batarians claim to trace their lineage from him. Yeah, we know somebody like that. The planet's moons are named after his many recognized wives. Oh, this is where they got their Protheum ruins. It's true, the Batarian military, the Batarian bureaucracy was so convoluted in keeping secrets from each other that maybe there's, there are some outposts and military uh, enclaves and communities that could survive secretly. There are probably definitely secret forces, secret, secret fortresses here in the Batarian system. <laughs> the Reaper invasion force happens to have passed by the planet, passed the planet by, which is likely the only insight that organics will have ever have into the Reaper's literary taste. <laughs> I love that so much. Hang on, let me see. Oh, here's another one. I do want to scan this so you guys can see what happens. I think we've done it before, but. Oh. Diverting a comment was more plausible. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a loud noise. Did I read that already? No. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Oh, that noise is so loud. No, we want to go back to the Citadel super fast. I recognize if I can drop off this for Rocky. Drop it off with the Solarium. Get the weapons for Araka, and then drop off the Kite's Nest thing. Uh, oh yeah, that's um. Whoa, <laughs> my mom's dog. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, let me go to shoot the Presidium Commons. I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. I love this. I love that they let me do this. Oh, let's see how this is going. Where is this going? Because if this isn't serious, then we need to talk. These are two different things. You're important to me, but I... It's not healthy to rush from one relationship to another. What do you mean? Well, I need to rush somewhere. If I end it with him, then I lose my partner benefits. And that includes my apartment. Okay, so maybe, just for your own security, you need to figure out an exit strategy before you talk with him. I thought I had. And I cherish the time we've had together. You, oh my gosh. Yeah. This, this is sorry woman is like freaking wants, is like pushing her to break up with her, to divorce her husband who is on active military duty. And then like doesn't want to deal with the fallout of that, but also apparently doesn't want to have a long term relationship with her. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything. Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts screaming. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. I'm supposed to be healthy. I think we I think we've started over. Can I poke the crazy lady? Tell her, haha, no, not in a million years. She's just gonna stay in there. I have a terrible feeling she breaks out and causes some mayhem, but I don't think so. You're back, huh? Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. I mean, the guy's not wrong. Mm -hmm. Bartering would probably be in his in well, his best interest. I don't know. That sorry woman just irks me. Like, if you're gonna, you gotta take responsibility for, like, the relationship you're breaking up, but also for, like, the relationship that somebody thinks they're getting into with you. Like, don't go after a married person if you, I don't know, well, I guess maybe going after a married person would be, like, easier to have a fling for some people. I don't know. But, like, this woman was getting ready to leave her husband for you, and if that wasn't obvious, you're a psychopath. Not a psychopath. You're just dull. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like it came Very through. Very charitable. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavin back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. I'm making it very obvious that I'm, like, in cahoots with <laughs> Arya and the Blue Suns. I'm like, now you don't have to go bother Blue Suns, right? Like a nerd. Welcome, Let's Commander go. Please purgatory. I love it's like let's go to purgatory. Like what a, what a thing to say. I hate this guard duty assignment. I hate everything right now. Nothing to do about it. We each stand duty in our own ways. At least your wife and the kids went on that trip you mentioned a while back. Where was it again? They canceled the trip. Donate the funds to some charity when Earth was hit. And then... How? Shit. I'm sorry. Are they okay? I must know. I find her thing in, like, I think the ruins of Benning, I think? Those Cerberus bastards had us. Assholes. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. Poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. 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 Let me talk to them. I'm supposed. I think I had to go get the evidence, but it's like really frustrating. I can hear them. These they're they're saying his name. Do you guys have a tab? Where's the dancers? I want dancers. Well, the dance floor's over there. Not dancers, dumbass. Dancers. I'm here for sleep, not the beanie's wall. 
I don't. Uh... Oh, come on. If there's an ass shaking somewhere on this station, you guys know where it is. Like, I get it, you wanna, I don't know, she's like, this is the kind of thing she likes, but it's also nice to, like, let people have breathing room. I think it works out, though. <laughs> I think they all get along. Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Uh, I think... Are the blood pack falling Okay, on? here we go. With Grill in charge, where all systems go. It's his voice, but my words. Couldn't have asked for a better puppet. The Blood Pack have committed 2,000 Vorcha to the cause. They'll make up the bulk of the army. Is Darner Voss cooperating with you now? Getting General Araka off the Blue Sun's back did the trick. Voss still thinks he'll be getting me on mine, idiot. But he's committed his veteran soldiers to me. In turn, I commit them to you. Wow, gee, thanks. What have we gained by having the Eclipse at our disposal? A ton of mechs and elite troopers for stealth operations. Sane has turned out to be more malleable than Jonas Sedaris ever was. My control of Eclipse runs even deeper than I expected. You surprised me by taking such agency in the matter. Did you really think I was gonna let that crazy lady out? Like, oh my gosh, also this seems like she likes having Grill in charge because he's like just basically a puppet for her, but now she has another one in Sane. Like, I feel like she would really enjoy this whole setup. How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to. I'm going to slap uh -huh. Omega. Right. Okay, bye. We'll talk later. I'm sure. She's one of the ones that doesn't meet your eyes. She like looks off into the distance. I don't mind. I think that's interesting. Like a way for her to like control her environment. She's got the like territorial posture and stuff. It's just interesting. Um, really quick before I forget, I'm going to run down. Drop off the kite pillars to the Batarians. I got in and out of your system, my guys. It wasn't great, but uh, good luck with this venerable artifact. Welcome, Commander Shepard. They are in the, the holding moment. area. I swear there's somebody down here who has a conversation at some point. Can I ask, where were you when the Reapers... Would you shut up? I'm sorry? I don't want to hear it. You yeah, haven't think you had a run? You know what happened on Karshan? My apologies. Lord, since your home world... Stop! Just stop! It's okay. I think the guys, humans are probably overly chatty in the galactic sphere. But eventually they, they talk it out and it'll be fine. But it does seem a bit insensitive. It's like, where were you during 9-11 asking that, like, right after 9-11 happened? Like, I don't know. Some people did, I guess. I remember. The kids would. The kids would do that to each other. I was, I was 10? Yeah, almost 11? Yeah. And I remember I was in school. I was in, like, I don't know, how old are you? What grade are you in, 10th grade? I don't know, but I remember we kept getting, um, kids kept taking turns because our teacher didn't turn the TV on for very long. She wanted us to keep acting like everything was normal. Uh, so the kids would take turns getting the library pass, and we'd go to the library where they had, like, six televisions on for different, um, news stations. We would go in there and watch and hide behind the bookshelves. I remember that. I recovered your pillars of strength from mm. the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in bay D24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they could get. Whatever helps, you know? Whatever, whatever keeps you holding on to something, you know? Anything. So, anyway, now that we've checked all that off, oh my gosh, I'm like, ah, but it's blinking at me, but it's just the codex entry. Oh, someday I'll read all those out loud, maybe, but not today. 
Oopsie, dang it. There we go. So that's the that's the DLC for Arya. Maybe freaking that's the Leviathan DLC, I think. That was a little early to do that. Maybe I'll look up a thing and be like, when's it suggested to do these certain blah blah blah? That's a pickup that we'll pick up on a mission somewhere. And that's I think a, just a fetch quest. That's something we could scan scan and find. That's something we find on a mission. Okay, cool. Maybe we can go land and do this one next. Interesting. We're doing alright. We're doing alright. Anyway, <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, the list is getting big. I don't want to let it get too big, but it's going to get bigger. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest and the super greatest, and I appreciate all of your help and support. So thank you guys again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.